Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm so glad that you're here. So for today's video, I have my Stitch Fix box for the month of April to share with you. You guys, we had a little cold snap. I always forget that right before Easter, it always gets a little bit cold, although it got like frigid here. I had to pull out my big heavy sweatshirts again because even in the house, it was a little, it was a little chilly. Anyway, let's talk about Stitch Fix. They're a clothing subscription box. Uh, you fill out a profile. Your stylist will send you five items you can try everything on in the comfort of your own home with clothing in your own closet in your own time frame and then you send back anything that you don't like or don't want there's a $20 styling fee if you buy one or more items in the box they're going to credit that $20 to what you buy and if you buy all five pieces they're going to give you a 25% discount I asked for just like I don't know. I feel like I'm asking everybody for like cool mom type outfits. I think that's what I asked for here. Some shorts. Um, I asked not to send sweaters, more like warmer weather type things. And of course now there's a, there's a cold front, but that's okay. Um, so that's kind of where I am. They've been switching around my stylist quite a bit. So let me see if I got the same one. My last box was so good. And yeah, I think it was by Cass. So it says, happy fix day, Christy. Thank you for your feedback on your last fix. It's always helpful to learn what you're loving or not loving, um, how things fit and anything you might be needing. So my last box was actually a five for five. That box was so good. If you didn't see that video, I'm gonna link it down below for you. It also is really cute because my daughter's at the end of it. She um, just took my camera and was pretending to be me. She just turned 18 and um, she just expected me to find it on my camera roll. And then I asked her if I could have permission to put it on the end of the video and we did. So anyway, that video is cute no matter what, but it was an extra good fix. So it says, um, how things fit, anything that you might be needing. I'm also really glad that you liked the V-neck blouse. It's one of my favorite pieces. So actually I pulled it because this was one of the items that I got last time, which this is typically not the kind of shirt that I get these like polyester-y type shirts, um, but it came with this beautiful mint green cardigan that I've been wearing the heck out of. It makes the cutest outfit. Um, and it says, I noticed you were looking for pastels this time. So I've incorporated some fresh soft hues for this season without going overboard on the florals and worked with colors that will perfectly complement your hair and skin. So yes, I did ask for pastels. I really am into like pinks and mint greens and blues and things for spring. I also popped in some classic black shorts to add a dressy feel, a long black necklace with spring hues and a three quarter sleeve in a breathable soft fabric. And I think you'll love it. Try with white jeans or pants. Happy styling, Cass. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at the prices. You get a little sheet that tells you the prices of everything. I think the last box I got with my discount and everything, the box was only like $127 or something for all five pieces, which was great. So the prices aren't bad, $268. Those are the highest, a $58, a $48, and a $38. So I like that. And then you get a self-addressed stamped envelope to send back anything you don't like or don't want. What I think Stitch Fix does really well is if you fall in love with, say I bought this shirt, which I did, and I loved it, and it comes in other colors, you can actually go to their store and pick it up. If you're like me and you find a pair of shorts that fit really well, you'll buy them in all the colors, right? <laughs> White, black, khaki, blush. Um, and so Stitch Fix has a store, and they also will recommend things. So if I've bought this, they will take this shirt and style it up with other things. So if you wanna like take this into spring, if I wanna shed that mint cardigan and do a more spring or summer look, I can do that. So I think they do a really good job with that. They also are really great with exchanges. A lot of the other subscription boxes, I feel like if you find something that you love, a lot of times they don't have the item to go size up or down with. So Citrix does a good job. But anyway, here's the self-addressed stamped envelope you send anything back you don't like or don't want and this is the tiniest little bundle i have ever seen so there's a pair of shorts in here and i guess four tops all right so let's just go for it let's dive on in okay so the first little top is a little cotton top and it's textured you see the little texture on it it's like a raised texture on the material and then it's floral now I'm super funny about floral I like more a lot of times bigger floral and not smaller but I like the colors oh I don't know I just saw the bottom <laughs> I was gonna say I like the colors of this 
Yeah, this feels very dated to me. This just feels five years ago. Mm, I, I would have loved this five years ago. And if you saw some of my beginning stitch fixes, this was something that I went for. It's got little lace panels. There's a lot going on with this, with the pattern heavy at the bottom, the lace panels, the textured material. I don't think this is my shirt. <laughs> I will link or list everything down below in case you want to request any of these pieces because just because I don't like them doesn't mean you can't. Your style and my style can be totally different. Um, that might be cute when I try it on those. I've been known to change my mind. That's by Daniel Rain and it's $58, okay? Then the next item, I just dropped something from my desk, is also by Daniel Rain. This is the little three-quarter length shirt. Mm, no. Again, I kind of feel like I had this in my closet like five years ago. It's not bad, but it's super wrinkly, which probably means when I get it on, here's my test when I go into stores, not that I've been in stores lately. If I do this and it's a wrinkled mess, actually it's not bad. Then I won't buy it. It didn't wrinkle so bad. So maybe it's just from um, transit. I don't know though. I just don't think that I would reach for this. It's got the little roll tab sleeve, which it's not my favorite. Um, I love the color. It's very thin. It'd be good for summer. Mm, I don't know. It's I'm just not loving it. I don't know if it's me because in my past couple of boxes, I just feel ho-hum about everything. It says that's the Coda split neck top in coral and that one was $68. I don't like it $68 worth. Okay, then they sent me a little necklace. I bought earrings last time. They were so cute. Ooh, this is by Nakamole. Do you guys know this jewelry brand? It's so good. When I was in Chicago several years ago, I took my daughter to see Hamilton when it was hot and with her best friend and one of my really good friends and um, we went to the Nakamole store. I didn't know about it. My friend told me about it and I love knock them all jewelry out and this is so me look at the colors in this it's got all the pastel goodness that is a keeper i am definitely keeping this this is adorable i like it a lot okay so that is a yes that's probably the 38 dollars item if i had to guess no it's $48 for that. I do have a little bit of credit though. Somebody used my link, so thank you for that. So um, it won't be $48 because I can take a little bit off with the credit. So I think even for that price, I'm gonna go ahead and snap it. And then the last piece is by Paper Moon. It looks like this. You know, I, I oh, oh, there's not, this isn't the last piece, there's a pair of shorts. The only problem with getting this, I don't usually buy these like polyester-y type shirts. Um, I just find them to be hot. And because I chose that one, um, I'm getting a lot of the same thing. And this is one of those tops that has like the polyester, I don't know if it's polyester, but rayon something material in the front. And then it's the t-shirt material in the back. Again, I had a shirt like this from The Loft like five years ago. Um, I, I don't think it's bad, I think it's cute. You could pair it definitely with white jeans or white shorts or, you know, blue jeans, dark things. I, I just don't, mm. I'm just looking for something a little more fashion forward, I think. Mm, I don't know, I don't think this is me either. Y'all, I just feel like I'm, I don't know. I'm just not loving anything right now. This is the, Breeze mixed material top for $38. It's only $38, so the price is right. It would be breathable because of the cotton in the back, but I don't know. I don't love it. Okay, and then last but not least. Okay. Man, I went from a five to for a five for five or about everything where I don't feel like I'm gonna buy anything from this. These are by Margaret M. And they're a textured short. These, these might be cute on, actually. A little bit more dressy. They have, is it a pull-on waistband? Yeah, it's just a pull-on. Is that true or, is, yeah, it's a pull-on waistband and they seem stretchy. I don't know. I think these are gonna go either extreme. I'm gonna love them or hate them. Right now, I don't think I like them. <laughs> Okay, y'all know that I am not negative at all, so I apologize. These are the Leah printed texture shorts for $68. Okay, 
let me do a try on um i may change my mind maybe i'll get something and put it on and it might rock my world let's hope so but i'm not really sure so hang on i'll be right back all right so just a little insight here i just filmed three clips and realized at the end that my fly was down the whole time. So I don't know if you would have been able to tell that my fly was down, but we are refilming. So this is take two. So the first piece is this cute little white top. It's got a lot going on. I talked about that in the opening. It's got these big lace panels. I really like the neck. It's kind of got this notch to it that's pretty. It's got the kind of heavy pattern at the bottom. I love the fabric this nubby fabric is so fun i almost wish this top was just in a solid white or even maybe a black it's just so pretty um but i don't feel like it's special honestly i do believe i could walk into a kohl's not pick it on kohl's i love a good kohl's moment but i think i could walk into kohl's anytime during the spring and summer and see something very similar for a little bit less. This is what, $68, $58? So this is definitely gonna be a no for me. Again, I don't think it's bad. It's just not wowing me. And quite honestly, if you're not gonna wake up the next morning and think I'm gonna put that new top on, it's probably gonna sit in your closet and that's one of the pieces for me. So this is gonna be a no. All right, so here is the next little top, which again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's priced at $38, which is pretty good for subscription box clothing. A lot of people will comment, I would never pay those prices, and you spend your money the way you want. Um, however, you kind of have to think that subscription boxes have to pay to warehouse their clothes, they're paying for stylists, they're having to pay for lights and water and you know everything else. And so all of that's gonna be factored into the clothing. So yes, yeah, subscription box clothing is a little expensive, but you don't have to go to the store, you don't have to dig through the racks. And honestly, for my time, I'd pay a little bit more not to have to go out and go shopping. So again, I don't think this is priced badly at all. It actually fits really nice, it's long. It's a cute little top little white shorts in the summer i think it would be adorable um it does have a cotton back so it's cute again i don't see myself bounding out of bed and thinking i, I want to wear that so this shirt's going to be a no too but i am going to keep this little necklace i just went ahead and put it on i don't think you can see it really well against the blue but it's got these pretty little pastel beads here and then the little mint green stone. So I am gonna keep the necklace, but not the shirt, okay? Let's keep going. All right, so here's the next top. I think it's adorable. I don't love the roll tab sleeve. You guys know how I feel about those. Um, they're just not my favorite. They always fall down and I don't wanna stitch them up because then you can't pull them down if you want to, if you get a little chilly. Um, it's very, very thin. You can kind of see how thin it is. I mean, you can see my stomach, you probably see my belly button. Um, so I did a little front tuck, that kind of helps. I do think that Stitch Fix is one of the worst for see-through clothing. That's just my opinion, <laughs> but I seem to notice that a lot more with Stitch Fix. I think this is lovely, but again, not special enough to keep. So let's go ahead and try on those shorts. All right, you guys, I decided to style up these little shorts. This is the top that's been in my closet like five or six years. I went into a boutique in Florida and they said, hey, we have a rolling rack outside and everything is $10. And I actually had looked at this before I got into the store. So I went out and grabbed it. Um, and so I just styled these dressier shorts with this. It's very see-through. I usually wear cami under it, but I just threw it on. And um, I kind of like the vibe of it. These shorts are stinking cute. I would have never in a million years said that I would like these shorts. And remember in the beginning when I said you can go into the store and if they have it in multiple colors, you can buy them. I want these shorts in white. I think they would be so, so cute. I don't have the best legs, you guys. I'm not complaining. I just, I just don't think I have the best legs. But last year I decided, you know what? I like this length of shorts and cellulite, who cares about it? We're just gonna wear what we feel comfortable in. I'm definitely keeping these shorts because I think you could style them a bunch of different ways and I'm hoping they have them in white because I'm gonna grab them. The only thing I wish is that they had pockets. They don't, but man, they're so comfortable around the middle. I, I don't usually like an elastic waistband, but I do like these. So I'm keeping the shorts and I think I'm keeping that necklace. Okay, stay tuned and I will be right back for the recap. Hang on. 
All right, I just left this shirt on for the ending. Um, it just goes to show you this whole box that you can't judge a book by its cover because I never in a million years expected to like the shorts and I really do like them a lot and I want them in other colors. The other shirts just didn't feel special. I don't know. I'm kind of in this weird fashion place right now where I don't want to wear sleep pants and sweatshirts anymore. I mean, I love a good sweatshirt at home, but I, I also want to look cute even if I still have to be at home. Um, I want something fun and funky and cool mom-esque and not old lady and fresh I don't know am I asking for a miracle maybe but I'm not gonna stop until I find it so I am gonna keep the necklace I am gonna keep the shorts I do think that I have a discount code with stitch fix um if I do I'll link it down below I think you get $25 off your first box don't quote me check the link down below or I'll post it on the screen right here and I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you soon for another one Bye bye